One fun fact about every NBA three-point leader. 1980, Brian Taylor, the first three-point leader in NBA history. He made 93 pointers on 37% shooting beyond the arc. He attempted 3.1 threes per game. This was way ahead of his time, considering the NBA average during this season was 2.8 three-point shot attempts for the entire team, and they only made less than one at 0.8 per game. This man alone was doing better than entire franchises. 1981, Mike Bratz. He made 57 three-pointers this season and is tied with the lowest three-point percentage among three-point single-season leaders at 33.73%. Of the three-point leaders, he also attempted the least with just 169 nice three-point attempts. 1982, Don Boosie, the first three-point leader to play all 82 games. 1983, Mike Dunleavy. Mike had one of the biggest improvements in three-point accuracy. In 1981, he made them at a 6% clip. In 82, he made them at a 38% rate. And then in 1983, he led the league in three-pointers and made them at a 34.5% rate. 1984, Dale Griffith, the first player to attempt more than 253s in a season with 252 attempts. He made 90 one of them this season. 1985, Dale Griffith again, the first player to be a three-point leader in back-to-back -back seasons. 1986, Larry Bird, the first Hall of Fame NBA player to lead the league in three-pointers. He made 82 threes in 82 games, basically making one per game. Also the first player to win a ring and MVP in the year he led the NBA in three-pointers. 1987, Larry Bird again, the second player to win a back-to-back, -back, but the first forward to win it. The previous winners have all been guards. He also made the 50-40-90 club this season, which is 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 90% from the line. 1988, Danny Ainge, the first player to make over 100 threes in a single season at 148, and the Celtics are the first franchise to have a player lead the league in threes for three seasons in a row. 1989, Michael Adams, standing at 5 feet 10 inches, Michael Adams is one of the shortest players to lead the NBA in three-pointers made in a single season at 166 threes back in 1989. Michael Adams, the first NBA player to win it back-to-back -back but make less threes in his second season at 158 compared to 166. He also played two more games this season at 79 versus 77. 1991, Vernon Maxwell, the first three-point leader to attempt over 500 threes in a season. He made 172 of them. 1992, Vernon Maxwell again. One of Vernon's famous quotes is, and you could Google it, MJ's Bulls couldn't beat us. He's referring to the fact that during MJ's first three-peat from 19 and 1993, the Rockets beat the Bulls in all six of their matchups. 1993, Dan Marley and Reggie Miller. The first time the NBA had a tie in three-point leaders, both Reggie and Dan hit 167 threes this season. 1994, Dan Marley again. In 94, Dan released a video on how to have crazy range just like him. 1995, John Starks, the first NBA player to make over 200 threes in a single season with 217 total threes this season. 1996, Dennis Scott. During the 96 season, Dennis Scott set the record at the time with 267 total threes in a single season. That record would last for 10 years. He also at the time set the record for the most threes in a single game with 11 in one game. 1997, Reggie Miller, the first NBA player to lead the league in threes on two separate occasions that wasn't twice in a row. 1998, Wesley Person. Wesley Person is a person who led the league in threes within the first year of playing for a new team, that team being the Cleveland Cavaliers. Personally, I think that's a cool fact. 1999, D. Brown. D won this by playing the least games out of any other leader, playing just 49 games, but this was the NBA lockout season. 2000, Gary Payton, the only former defensive player of the year to also lead the league in threes in a single season with 177 threes this season. 2001, Antoine Walker. Walker has some great three-point shooting seasons and some bad ones. In 01, he did a great job making 221 of them at a clip of 36.6%. Just two seasons later and two seasons prior, he averaged around 25% from beyond the arc, which is about 10% worse. 2002, Ray Allen. Ray led the league in three-pointers this season by playing just 69 nice games, and he made a total of 229 threes. 2003, Ray Allen. Ray led the league in threes by playing for two different teams this season. He started the season with the Bucks and ended it with the Supersonics. 2004, Peja Stojakovic. Stand
standing at a list at 6 foot 10 inches, Peja is one of the tallest players to lead the league in threes in a single season. 2005, Cal Korver and Quinton Richardson. This is the second time in NBA history where the three point leaders had a tie at 226 apiece this season. This was Kyle's second season though, which is pretty cool to lead the leagues in threes at year two. 2006, Ray Allen. When Ray led the leagues in threes this season, he finally broke Dennis Scott's record of 267 by making 269 nice three-point shots this season. He's also the first player to lead the leagues in threes, playing for multiple franchises. 2007, Raja Bell and Gilbert Arenas. The third time in NBA history where the three-point leader was a tie between two players. Both Raja and Gilbert made 205 threes this season. 2008, Jason Richardson. Jason Richardson played shooting guard for his entire career aside for this 08 season in which he played small forward and made 243 threes. 2009, Richard Lewis. Standing at 6 foot 10 inches, Richard is also tied as one of the tallest players to lead the league in threes with 220 threes. 2010, Aaron Brooks. Brooks won the 2009-10 Most Improved Player Award during this season. He also made 209 threes. 2011, Darrell Wright. This was Wright's first major start starting season where he started all 82 games. His previous season, he only started one game out of a total of 72 that he played. He led the leagues in threes this season by making 194 of them. 2012, Ryan Anderson. Ryan led the league in threes this season while also winning most improved player. He's also tied as one of the tallest to do it at 6 feet 10 inches. 2013, Steph Curry. This is Steph's first time leading the league in threes and the second best three-point field goal percentage among three-point single season leaders at 45.33% from beyond the arc. 2014, Steph Curry again, the first NBA player to lead the league in threes twice while also making over 250 threes in each season. He made 261 of them during this season. 2015, Steph Curry a third time, the first NBA player to lead the league in threes three times in a row. He made 286 threes during this season. He also won MVP this season, being the second MVP to lead the league in threes. 2016, Steph Curry a fourth time, the first time an NBA player had led the league in threes four times in a row, won unanimous MVP, and has an NBA all-time record this season of 402 threes made in a single season. He also made the 50-40-90 club this season and is the highest point per game score of the 50-40-90 club, averaging over 30 points per game this season. 2017, you guessed it, Steph Curry a fifth time. Steph Curry led the league in threes five times in a row, and at this point it was the second time he surpassed over 300 threes in a single season, with 324 threes made this season. 2018, Steph could just kidding, it's James Harden. James Harden is the third NBA player to win MVP and lead the league in threes. He's the fourth to do it, but the third different MVP. Steph won back-to-back -back MVP, obviously. Larry was the first. Steph was the second, technically third. James is the fourth, but technically third different person. 2019, James Harden. James attempted the most threes in a single season so far in NBA history, with over 1,000 attempts in 2019 at 1,028 attempts attempts. He made 378 of them that season. 2020, James Harden, the second player in NBA history to lead the league in three-pointers for three straight seasons right after Steph Curry. 2021, Jim, nope, it's Steph Curry. This is Steph's sixth time leading the league in threes. He made 337 threes during this season. 2022, Steph Curry. Steph led the league in threes for a whopping seven times so far in his career. He might do it more. He also won finals MVP during this season, beating the Boston Celtics. 2023, Klay Thompson. The third time in a row a Golden State player has won this award, and of the last seven award winners, eight of them went to Golden State players. Well, by that I mean Steph Curry. Klay had a total of 301 threes in just 69 nice games. So here was one fun fact about every NBA three-point leader. Let me know what you think will be the three-point leader of this season and what you want to see in the future. Don't forget to dunk on that like button and subscribe with notifications turned on. I'm Rebound Rewind, and I'll fast forward to you later.